What's up, everybody? Um, it's been a long time. I apologize for that. As much as I enjoy doing YouTube things, uh, other life things have to come first, like family, um, school, stuff like that. So I do these when I can. I'm trying to get better at it, uh, being being more re regular with it. This video is going to be my console game pickups for the la since my last update video. Um, I don't know if it'll all fit in one video or if I'll have to break it up. I'm trying not to go over 15 minutes a video for up the pickup videos anymore just because that's that's a bit too long. Um, so I'm going to try to do this as fast as possible and you may notice cuts uh, if I go on too long. Um, so these have all been in the past few days. Um, first up, uh, about a... well actually this one, this was the past few days. This one was about a week and a half ago. Um, I picked up a Super Nintendo Mini bundle that uh, Goodwill had. It was really cheap. Um, it came with the Super Nintendo Mini and uh, Tetris and Dr. Mario and Yoshi's Island. Um, I can't show you any of it, really, except for I got some manuals with it. I can't show you anything because uh, my sister has it. She's been wanting a Super Nintendo for a while. Um, she had one, but she didn't have all the cables for it, so uh, she gave me some money for it. And she gave me the Super Nintendo that she had with the cables that she had, which was it was two um, turbo third-party controllers and one official Super Nintendo controller. Unfortunately, the Super Nintendo and, well, everything is really dirty. Um, it also has a Super, Super Game Boy. Um, but again, everything's really dirty. It's over there. I don't really want to go get it. And then I have the manual for Tetris and Dr. Mario, uh, Yoshi's Island, uh, the Super Nintendo Mini, and the Consumer Information and Precautions booklet for the Super Nintendo. And then, for some reason, these were in there too. Um, I don't know if the person had also donated a Nintendo bundle. It wasn't there. I didn't go back to check. I didn't ask anybody, I probably should have, but I don't know how long that was sitting there anyways. But there was a Duck Hunt and Super Mario manual. Wow, that just looks horrible. I don't know if that's showing up for you, but the red just looks horrible on there. And a poster that just has the games and stuff on there. Then I went to a Salvation Army that I'd never been to before, and I found two Sega Genesis games. Uh... Afterburner 2 and T2 the arcade game. Unfortunately, no manuals for either of them. But for two dollars a piece, not not bad. I hardly ever 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 see boxed uh, Genesis games. Then I went to a Goodwill that I had never been to before and picked up Una Racers, Super Nintendo, obviously. Uh, Paperboy 2. This I picked up because it was an unlicensed cart. Um, Tubin. And these were the, the pretty much crown of uh, that Goodwill. The Super Nintendo cleaning kit. Sealed. And the Mario cover for the NES cleaning kit. Again, sealed. Uh, then I went to... Um, I, I say then, but uh, every all these have they're all over the place in terms of days. I went to a flea market that I haven't been to in probably at least 15 years. Uh, this little old lady selling games. I thought I was going to get really lucky at the price, but she had she said she sells stuff on eBay. So most of her games were not bad if you wanted them for yourself. Um, not a bad price if you wanted them for yourself. But the only one I really picked up because it was actually worth more than what she was asking was Star Fox Adventures. And this one is complete, but the disc is slightly scratched up. I have no doubt that it would work, but it's just not that perfect. Then inside that flea market there is a reseller who mainly does like movies, but he has a lot of games too. Um, and his prices are typically fairly ridiculous but he did I did catch him slipping um, 
and picked up Warcraft 2 The Dark Saga. Unfortunately, the manual um, doesn't have a front cover. And the disc is fairly scratched up. Uh, there's no way you could see that, but it's fairly scratched up. I haven't tried it yet. I'm hoping it works, but I don't know. But I did get it for two dollars. Um, it had was marked for three, and I was kind of like, I don't know if it works. I asked him if he tried his stuff out. He said, No, you can't do that. Um, so I was like, Can you take two for it? And he was all right. So hopefully it works. If not, eh, two bucks. It's not that bad. Then at the Goodwill that I picked up that uh, SNES mini bundle, I grabbed Resident Evil 4 for the Wii. Um, this is complete, and the disc looks mostly decent. Then I went to a... Well, this was yesterday. I went to a pawn shop that I haven't been to in a while, but they usually have, like, a you pick up three Game Boy Advance... Uh, DS, 3DS games and they usually give you a good deal on it. <clears throat> but I picked up Super Mario 3D Land cart only. Um, pins look super clean. The cart looks pretty clean. I don't have a 3DS to try it out at try it out in, but I'm, I'm certain it would work. And then a complete copy of Castlevania Portrait of Rune. And finally, I picked this up specifically because what's been happening, ha what has happened in the past week with the uh, the exploit that people have found with this game. But a sealed copy of Cubic Ninja. I did not pay the fourteen ninety nine that it says on here. Um, that was a sticker from Big Lots. Next up, um, they're not console games, but they're console game related. Um, I normally don't buy plushies from thrift stores simply because you never know but I sniffed a couple of them when I was there and they didn't smell too bad um, but they were only about I think a quarter a piece but I picked up Toad Koopa Yoshi Luigi and of course, Mario! Yeah. Like I said, they don't really smell bad. I think Toad. No, he doesn't actually. I don't know what I was smelling. He doesn't actually smell that bad. But. They look fairly clean. They don't smell bad. So. For 25 cents a piece, I'll, I'll grab them, you know? And at that same Salvation Army, I picked up this giant plushie. Um, it was at a later date, but it, it was at the same Salvation Army. Um, again, it was like 25 cents. And it came in a bag, so I'm not really that concerned about, like, I didn't smell it. I didn't open the bag. Um, it's a giant... Pikachu, as you can see, it's bigger than my head. It looks brand new. I mean, this looks like a garbage bag that if like you would win this at a at a arcade or a, a, a carnival fair type of a thing, and they would put it in this bag for you. So it doesn't look like anybody has ever took it, taken it out of the bag. It looks pretty clean through the bag. Next up, a box of stuff. I don't really remember when I picked this stuff up. I've been trying to organize stuff and I found these lying around. I don't know where they came from, when I picked them up. But I know I, I, I'm fairly certain I haven't showed anybody these yet. Um, a copy of Super Mario World. A copy of Smash Brothers Melee which is complete and the disc doesn't look too bad a copy of Mario Kart 8 which doesn't look I mean it's complete and the disc looks perfect I actually did pay twenty dollars for this 
I was planning on quickly reselling it, and what is going on with... Uh, wow. My webcam is just bleeding the reds. Did you see that? That is crazy. Whoa. Anyways, um, I did pay the $20 for that. I was planning on quickly flipping it, but I still have it. I don't even know if it's really worth it. No, probably, because it's the latest Mario Kart. I'm sure it's worth that. Then, Resident Evil 4 on the GameCube, which, if I could get it open, I'm fairly certain it's complete. I usually I check things before I buy it, but this one still had tape on it. No, it just has the games. Just has the games, and I'm fairly certain these are decent. No, actually, they're, they're, they have some scratches. This is probably something I picked up when I haven't found anything for a while. Yeah, they do have some scratches. Uh, then we have a Super Mario Galaxy 2, which is complete, and uh, it, it is scratched up, but I have no doubt that, that would play. This, I, uh, the Super Mario Galaxy 2, I'm pretty certain, uh, my mom picked this up for me at some antique store she went to. They had it for, like, two or three dollars. This, I think I picked up, like, a, over a year ago and just kind of lost track of it, but I found it now. Um, the NES Game Atlas. Um, this, I think I had since I was, like, I, I'm pretty sure I got this when I bought Wind Waker back when it first came out. Um, the strategy guide for Wind Waker. I think that's one. Um, a Mario World manual, which has a cut in, uh, has a cut in it, and it's not in perfect shape, but it's a Mario World manual. Um... Super Mario Land on the Game Boy, the uh, Player's Choice version, and Intech Game Boy, Game Boy, an Intech GameCube uh, controller cord extension, a copy of Pokemon Snap, and. I don't know, it's an Intech bag, I don't know what the hell it is. I also picked up um, this bag of controllers. It was $2 for all these, but I don't know, no, really nothing super great in it. This was at a Salvation Army. There's a third uh, Interact brand uh, GameCube controller. A an official Nintendo controller. This one's actually fairly clean. This is pretty much why I picked it up. Um, also this, because why not? A uh, official Nintendo um, RF adapter. An Interact PlayStation controller that rattles. So that's something. And a PC gamepad. Gravis PC gamepad. Literally that's what it's called. Gravis PC game bet. <clears throat> Those were all two dollars. These kind of fall into the category of I have no idea where they came from, but it's a complete copy of Wii Sports. However, the disc is a little scratched up. A copy of Gradius three and four. I mean, I know I got this from a Goodwill, but I don't remember when exactly. It looks almost like mint. A copy of, actually, I don't even know if I should show you these because they're so crappy looking, but uh, Jet Moto 2, Tarzan, Test Drive, Off-Road, Hardcore 4x4, and Big Game Hunter. Again, these are all just scratched ridiculously. Um, four sports titles, if you want to know what they are, read them there. Um, they're all complete. I don't know, and I don't really care how scratched up they are. Um, then, which this is kind of cool, and I'm 
going to keep this for myself because I don't have this version. The uh, Metal Gear Solid, or at least I would keep them until I play it. Uh, Metal Gear Solid for PlayStation. This is the one that came in the 3-pack, I think, because it's the big PlayStation 2 style case. And we have a stack of NES games. I remember buying these, but I have no idea when, why I didn't show you these before. Um, Adventure Island 2 with the manual. Abadox with the manual. Unfortunately, there's they taped and it's touching the manual right there, but probably could get that off with a hairdryer. Captain Planet and the Planet Tears with a manual. Mario Duck Hunt and Tetris.